It's a beautiful sunny day, so we're headed for a walk on the beach. And of course we'll be doing some bird watching too. Today's story is all about Sanderling, Little Bird of the Sand. There are many kinds of shorebirds that can be found at the beach depending on the time of the year, but the Sanderling is one of the most common. They're a cute, plump little bird about the size of a robin or about the size of your fist with a stout black bill that's about the same length as its round head and it has black legs. One of the most widespread birds in the world can be found across the globe during non-breeding season. This area of the beach of wave-washed sand is a rich environment for many filter feeding organisms. So what they're doing is probing the sand for mollusks, crustaceans, and worms. One thing we find most helpful with bird identification is observing behavior. A notable trait of the Sanderling is that it scurries along the shorelines, kind of like it's playing tag with the incoming waves. They quickly dash out to see what each departing wave has left and then turn around and hightail it back from the next incoming wave. The Sanderling has no back toes. This is what enables them to run so quickly. Most of us see them in their non-breeding plumage when they are a silvery gray with a very white chest. But their beautiful breeding plumage has rusty modeling on the back, head, and breast. The Sanderling is a migratory species flying in some cases 1,800 to 6,000 miles to the Arctic Circle in the high Arctic tundra for breeding in late June to July. In the winter, the Sanderlings populate pretty much every sandy beach in the world, just like this beautiful sandy beach on the Oregon coast. So now that you've learned a few things about the Sanderling, we'll leave you with some views of the beach and this cute little bird as it spends a day of wave chasing. Deepest blue